dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church called upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's pastoral solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. We have come to the Paschal Candle. The Paschal Candle is a symbol of Christ risen from the dead, Christ the light of the world, Christ, the light of our lives. Christ yesterday and Christ today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to him, and all the ages. To him be glory through every age and forever. Amen. And we now place five grains of incense into the candle. These grains of incense are symbols of the five wounds of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. His holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. And we now light the past again. Let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God, 
Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people, and in these the last days has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this task and work of salvation by the fullness of the day. Thank you. 
felt them and your mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Response, I will, I will sing, sing to the Lord, Lord. glorious is triumph. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people. Grant, we pray, that all nations obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith may be reborn by partaking of your spirit through Christ our Lord. We give glory and thanks to the Father who raised Christ from the dead as we pray in the glory. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks to your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world and receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. O God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that, renewed in body, and mind, we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we should also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he is finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we should return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all, to sin. So his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin the life of God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response over the sound. Response. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Response. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord's right hand has triumphed, his right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount his deeds. Response, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. 
goes down on the first day of the week. Mary of Magdala and the other Mary went to visit the sepulchre. And all at once there was a violent earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His face was like lightning. His robe white as snow. The guards were so shaken, so frightened of him, that they were like dead men. But the angel spoke, and he said to the women, There is no need for you to be afraid. I know you were looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, as he said he would. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead, and now he is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him. Now I have told you. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him and falling down before him clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. The Gospel of the Lord.
Finally, there is something very humble and gentle and loving about the resurrection of Christ. Christ doesn't appeal triumphant to everyone to signify his victory. He doesn't appeal in glory to masses of people to announce his victory over sin and his victory over death. He appeals to a poor woman, Mary of Magdala, and he appeals with a gentle love. And there is no attempt on the part of Christ to humiliate those who have humiliated him. His resurrection is in a spirit of humble, gentle love. On this feast of the resurrection, we ask for the grace to be able to receive the humility, gentleness, and love of Jesus, risen from the dead, into our minds and hearts. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers. 
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We ask, O oh Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts singing together the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and for all the people of the parish, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and a communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace, and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation, and count 
trampled along the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day that Lord was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, the Almighty Father, giving you thanks he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all the saints, 
Admit us, we beseech you, into your company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only the sin of our and my soul shall be.
come down on you and remain with you. 